Well, aloha and how you doing? Welcome to Hibachi Talk. I'm Gordo the Texar, and I'm here with my good old buddy, Andrew the Security ah. Guy. How are I like you doing? your background there. Hey, is that kind of nice? That's kinda, Makapu out there. there. That's the Sandy's, brother. Welcome. Beachy. We're at the beach. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and. Um, we're now winding down for the... Uh, Hill the Billy's year. happy. He's yeah. going to dance a little bit. He's there. He's there. There you go. So please uh, grab yourself a towel, grab yourself a libation, and come sit down and join us for another exciting episode. I'm of, empty. Well, Left sorry. Ferguson's too early. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? And a pre-commercial for Ferguson's. There we go. Anyway, we, don't have, we do not have a guest today. I know, but we have a lot of stuff to talk yeah, about. Yeah, it's been it's been a been a big year. 2016 with our second year on this. this so we, Hibachi Talk's been on the air now for um, two whole years. Almost, I think we're approaching 100 episodes. We're coming up on 100 episodes. We'll have to do something special for that. So anyway, it's just we're going to look back over the year and see how things have gone. We've got we yeah. got some awards. We're going to give out awards for like you know okay. the best pothole picture. You know the you know the best uh, you know got one tech job thing. Oh. We got a couple. Oh, of those. We brought some of those. And through. Angus is here, and he's gonna you know cry in his beer cup and a few things like that. Okay. So so, so let's start with um, let's do uh, potholes in paradise, right? We, okay. That's one of our regular, one of our regular segments is pothole in paradise, and we've had because we don't know why we have to have them because we pay taxes. We pay taxes, right? They don't seem to be able to fill them. I think you pay taxes to have potholes produced. That's what it seems Maybe like. Maybe we've got it wrong. So I don't know what it is. But anyway, we got a couple of shots of you know some of the ones that people have sent us that we thought were pretty good. Oh, yeah. I remember this, that, the rescue shot. The rescue shot. That was kind of a nice one. Angus's favorite, by the way. He thought that okay. was pretty good. So I don't disagree. I don't disagree. It was another one. And then we had, we had one of our guests. Remember Donna Sass? Oh, that's not, right. Not Donna Sass, but Donna Sass. Donna Sass, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember Donna Sass? She was in. She went, actually went off to the, um, she went off to um, uh, Kapilani, uh, the, swap, the food court thing, and she, uh, on her way there, she ran into a pothole and decided to come back and fill it with some things that she bought at the, uh, the flea market. That's, a, that's the most decorated pothole I've seen. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta say that. I gotta give her. She did a good job. I gotta give her credit. She was helping us out with that episode. She, it needed a little help. It you know? needed a, Potholes was, aren't always that good. fun. So I think the winning, uh, the winner on that one has gotta be uh, Donna's. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. She far. killed it. She killed it. She killed and she it. put a lot of work into it. She did. She did a lot of work. It was a lot of, a lot of thought. So, so thanks, Donna. What, she, what does she win? I'll buy her a libation next time she's in town. A beverage? Yes. Very good. I, I will do that. Donna, she, we owe you a beverage on the Bocce Talk. We owe you a beverage. Um, she bought Angus a shirt, too, when she was here last oh, night. Angus owes her a beverage. <laughs> 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 That's also true. Angus does owe her a beverage. Yeah. So, so that happened in 2016, and we still got potholes. There is a monster pothole on New Orleans. We don't seem to have made a lot of progress just by exposing some of the, you know, the. We, we tried to make it fun, like it's a problem, but okay. Maybe we need to get a little more. Maybe we can get the. Who's the guy? DMV or somebody? I don't know. We need well, we had the almost mayor in here. Charles came in. Yeah. Maybe we can get Kirk to come in now since he won and talk about these potholes. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, like you know, if he sees our pictures, maybe he'll have a little love. Maybe what we should do is just send him the pictures. I, I, I think he needs to come on here and talk about this talk problem about a little bit. You can tell, and I'm I, sure it's hard from his job. It's I, tough. And I can talk about the fact that you know every time they fill a pothole, and if they fill the same pothole, and they may have changed it since when I was there. Yeah. But when I was with the city, and they filled a pothole, that was count check mark one pothole filled. Now, if they came back two weeks later and say, filled that same pothole, they counted it again. Why? Because they filled a pothole. We so, need. Uh, so that don't work, dude. You remember when Sheldon was on, and they were, they're working on some stuff so, that's supposed to fix this problem. So Sheldon, Sheldon. I don't was know if he can talk about that. Yeah, we get. Well, Sheldon was on, and they were. The, we talked about the, the nanotechnology in the um, in the in asphalt the, in the asphalt. Was, the, yeah. That allowed it to ad adhere to the maybe to the, the city needs to buy some of that or get in well, on it. It's, it's experimental more, or something. It's more than costs more money than the cheap stuff that we're using, and that's why. Well, we, the cheap stuff ain't working. I know. That's why we got to decorate them with hula girls. I know. So that, well, speaking of cheap. Which was another segment we introduced oh, this year. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! It's, it's, you know you your know city's, city's cheap. cheap win. <laughs> See, we know what we're doing on this show, man. Okay. This is like it just flows. It we're, just flows. We're driving right anyway, into it. Anyway, so this is, was one. You know your city's cheap win. <laughs> when, you, when you buy rail, <laughs> when you buy rail cars before the rail is built, before the rails are even on the track. On, on the, the there is no rail. There is no track. There is no track. You buy the rail cars, and that weekend they get tagged. Well, I thought this was just how he got a custom paint job at no charge. 
That was the cheap thing. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So here, <laughs> here we go. And then we oh. ha also have number two. Now, <laughs> this young man is on, on is not on New, well, on New Avenue. It's on uh, Laliha Street. So this is on Laliha Street. You know your city's cheap when this is how they fix it. When they their... use light pole, the light to hold up the pole. What do you think's well, going on there? I mean, it's scary. It's scary. It could be the joint. So you got a combination there of the joint pole committee. Because there is a joint pole oh, committee. Oh, that's right. We have that problem. I so we got the we joint pole committee, that. and then we got the light thing that's broken. And so now I think the issue is no one knows who's responsible to fix what because it's the joint pole committee. So one committee. So in they just taped the, it all together. One ch and I don't even know who taped it. That's electrical tape. It could be. It could be a neighbor that taped it. So you got the pole that's vertical, which is one one organization. Then you got the pole that goes out. That's another entity with which is committee broken on this one. With the broken, and then you got the light the part that's broken now because the pole is broken that's another member of the committee and then you've and you got, gotta have, have four or five guys just to move that cone around and then you got electricity so you got to put electricity into it so now that's so your four members of the joint pole committee right there try to determine who's going to fix that pole it's probably still like that have you been back there lately you know i'll go i'll walk on my way home and i will double check it, it you know what it's been like that for a long, long time we're going to have a positive message in a minute <laughs> We are. So it's, 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 I doubt it. No, this was this one almost went into the pot, oh, oh. This one almost went into potholes in paradise. But I. Had well, this to, is a positive thing. Yeah, it's a the positive citizen thing. fixed it. The, that's right. So there was a pothole, and um, so it was no longer a pothole, but the citizen fixed it. Yeah, and let you know about it. See and that? let you know about it. I think that's what we. That's how we solve the potholes in paradise. All we give, we just get give everybody chalk, <laughs> and we go to um, the local hardware store. We buy some. Patch, for the patch, 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 mix, patch, and we do it, and we just every time we do it, then we take white chalk and or paint, and, and you build a city, for and the you work. just say citizen fixed, and, and put and just do that. But if you we can send a bill, and we can send them a bill, because that be saves awesome. the money from people blowing out tires and yeah. breaking shock of, you know they get they get billed for all that i like the idea but here's what happens you send them a bill the moment you send them a bill the state of hawaii is going to want their get and you know you ain't going to get paid and you have your well and you don't have your contractor's license yeah you don't have your contractor's license you know. and then you got that so you right. still first of all you won't have your get you won't have your contractor's license and the state will come after you for your get tax and penalties yeah you got to license your so uh, you just need to say citizen fix but don't name the citizen why don't we send them money we fix one, we'll send them 20 bucks after we fix it. Just say, look, here's what we saved you. You know, just take them some money. Get, buy, buy some decent people. It's tax dollars. I don't know. That Donald Trump's I'm just, that. just offering. I'm just saying. I, it's just, the citizens could help. It. We need it. Yeah, citizens certainly could help. So, so um, it's, that's, <laughs> we're that's, trouble. that's, that's, we're in trouble. So, I think the, um, uh, Boy, this can be hard. Is, which one's going to be the winner in that one? Is the is it the the tagged um, rail cars or oh, that's the, the winner or the joint the joint pole committee? Uh, no, the rail. I think the rail cars get my vote because that that was such a just such an, an a lapse of 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 really process, you know, <laughs> looking at planning, it. whatever you want to call it. I mean, like yeah. you know, we we have ways. To, I mean, this this didn't happen in like two seconds. This isn't not like somebody got with a can of spray paint. This is like a team that worked like for hours, a maybe weekend. a weekend, you know, so, and no one caught them. So, I mean, you know, security wasn't in place. This is, that's just a bust. It's a, it's a, it's a total bust. It's not bad. I mean, it probably looks better than the, Actually, the real. I didn't bad. see the real car, so I don't yeah. know how good it looked, but, you yeah. know, whatever. I don't know what the word says, so I can't see because of the pole that's in there. But you know what? Here's another thing that concerns me. Since we accepted the rail car, does that mean the warranty started? Well, yeah. And so, but the car's got nothing to run on. Oh, not for like five years. The so, warranty will run out before we ever use that Yeah, car. the warranty's going to run out before but we But they can always the get car. more cars. Because we're going to send in 20 bucks for every pothole, pothole we fix. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we fix a lot of potholes, they can buy us a new rail car. Uh, okay, so again, I'll fix the pothole and send And then you send them 20, 20 bucks. bucks. And if we get all the citizens to do that, then they, maybe they don't got to do this other thing they wanted to do. What was it? They're going to extend some other kind of tax for a while. I don't know. Yeah, well, no, that's just, a, So imagine this. The city, the community gets together, we fix the roads, and we give the city money, money to fix the rail cars. Because we fix the roads. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> give your union a shaka. <laughs> well, I, 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 maybe those guys would help out. They know how to do it, apparently, or, or not. I don't even know. It's not clear. <laughs> you got to be. You got to be careful. It's on not this clear thing, on this thing. So anyway, so that that take care of that. So what else happened in 2016? That um, it, that's, you know, we got. We got to um, talk about Robert. Robert, yes. Halsman. 
Robert Halsman. This is, I mean, you heard about Carrie Fisher, you heard about George Michael's last few days, we had some right. more people pass, but this guy was particularly, um, you know, at least instrumental in, in the, the theme of the show and right. a lot of the stuff that's happened at Hibachi Talk right. here. And if you don't know Robert Halsman, uh, well, Gordo's getting ready to tell you why you should. Well, I mean, uh, everybody knows who he is. I, I will guarantee you that every one of our viewers knows who Robert I, is. I guarantee all the ones that received some of his... So, Robert Halsman was the inventor yes. of the Solo Cup. That's right. How is that? Man? How's the guy that thought... Remember all the little measuring lines? We've been over that, what it means. One's a shot, and one's the wine line, and there's the beer line. Yeah, and that thing was... That's an... And it's... If you ever went to college, if you ever went to a picnic, <laughs> if you ever went anywhere, you know about these cups. Yeah. Everybody uses these yeah. cups. This guy has one, got to be one of the most famous guys around. I know, but he, he, he's passed on. So, he, he, so yeah. in heaven now, they got a bunch of them solo cups going on. I'm sure. I'm sure he I'm showed sure up with his patent, and they started punching them out. I'm sure they got tool and die works and everything up there. And everything. And maybe we, maybe he'll come up with a new one. An angel version. It not because it'll, it'll never get empty. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite kind. <laughs> Just keep those going on. It's the just time. always full. Like it's you know. Yeah. So Robert Hals Robert Halsman will be missed, but he will not be forgotten. I yeah. Will well, he was immortalized in a song that we tried to get on this show. That's right. By Toby Keith. It's a song you guys may have heard it. It's called uh, Red Solo Cup. <laughs> it's a country okay. song. A country song. I know. We weren't allowed to use it because we couldn't afford the. We can't uh, afford the, the royalties. You have to pay royalties yeah. for that. All of, all of but we have a lot of cups. We have a lot of cups. This is the end. Except we lost one. Um, we had a, when we were, when you were here, your, you see your Drew Cup is missing. Oh, oh. Well, that, this is mine. Well, yeah. it's just no, have no, name. No, but you're one with your oh, name. Oh, my name. Because we had a guest on named Drew, and he took your cup. Fair. That's good. That's it's, a good use of a cup. But it's a good use. So, I'll, well, so I'll get you another one. Thank and, you. And get it all filled up for you. So, so, but we'll get you there. So, anyway, so that was, that was another. Robert thing. Hulsman passed. Robert Hulsman passed. So, okay, so we, are we getting close to, um, um, the halfway mark? I don't know. We, we started, started late. We started, so we can take a break. You think we take a break? Hey, Bill. Come back. We'll uh, get, we'll get to all right. back we'll, to we'll, it. All right. We'll take a break. We'll um, toast to uh, Robert. Robert. Cheers, oh, brother. Robert. May Happy. You, may, may you. All right. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Rise if possible. Rise if possible. <laughs> Rise if possible, Robert. <laughs> Aloha, my name is Justine Espiritu and I co-host Hawaii Farmers Series with Matthew Johnson of Oahu Fresh. We talk about Hawaii's local farmers and their supporters. In order to have a vibrant and sustainable local food system, uh, farmers are always the foundation, but there's so many other people uh, involved in the community that help support those farmers. So we bring those folks onto our show every Thursday at 4 p.m. We get their backstory, their history, find out a little more about them, and we find out why they love what they do and their perspective and their advice on how we can continue to have a dynamic and vibrant and sustainable local food system. So we, again, we broadcast live every Thursday at 4 p.m. And you can also catch us on ThinkTech's YouTube channel as well as Alelo54. So we hope you tune in and join us. Thank you. Aloha, my name is John Waihe, and I used to be a part of all the things that you might be angry at. I served in government here and may have made decisions that affects you. So I want to invite you in. I want to invite you in to talk story with me and some very special guests every other Monday here at Talk Story with John Wahee. Come on in, join us, express your opinion, learn more about your state, and then do something about it. Aloha. Hey, welcome back to Bachi Talk. Glad to see you guys. Happy New Year's. Uh, today for the Security Minute, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of TSA's top 10 crazy sort of uh, uh, things they found in 2016. All right? So, hey, Drew, there's are my slippers. <laughs> they didn't find your slippers because you didn't take them. Oh, okay. Just check You left them chained up. I left them chained up. Look at my, my, my wee slippers in Waikiki. Thanks for that. So, number 10. All right. Here we go. Um, this is an item that you cannot take. That's number one. <laughs> Can I have number 10? There's number 10. All right. It looks like a trailer hitch, but TSA is just not going to allow you to take anything that kind of looks like a grenade on a plane. So keep that in mind. So right? that, 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 was, was, that was in San Luis Obispo County Regional Airport. 
My goodness. Number nine, check this one out. A Hello Kitty toy replica real gun, okay? Just because it's pink and says Hello Kitty, TSA is not going to let you bring your firearms onto a plane, all right? This was at Bradley International Airport. They matched my slippers. Ha! Huh. They matched my slippers. They did. Yeah. Now, this is a bat, and I'm not sure what you <laughs> hit with it, but if your bat is wrapped in, like, um, a barbed wire, they're not going to let you bring it on the plane. This happened in Atlanta. A guy in Atlanta tried to walk on the plane with this at uh, Hartfield International. All right? Number seven, the golden hand grenade. Now, again, this is a gold-plated grenade, probably a nice article for someone, but it's not allowed on a plane because it looks like it, a bomb. Do you think it's a grenade? Yeah, it's a grenade. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not a real grenade. grenade. It's not a real grenade. <laughs> no, How do you but know? it's a replica. You That's can't bring replicas. I cannot. Okay. How so this is another one. Number uh, six. This is a guy that, this is a replica bomber's vest, okay? But he, th and he thought since it's a replica, it's okay. He was going to use it as a prop. You can't bring that on a plane. <laughs> People get excited, okay? <laughs> use some common sense. <laughs> now, this next one was offered, this is number five. This was offered as a letter opener. You think? So, oh, I love so I have to tell you, the bladed dragon claw letter opener, TSA is not going to let you bring that on the plane. Okay? <sighs> Number four. Somebody was trying to import some seahorses in bottles of brandy. All right, this came through Detroit. Okay, now they're dead. I mean, this is just a terrible, sad story overall. This is another thing that someone tried to bring on. TSA said, sorry, can't do it. Well, okay. plus it's over the three ounces there, lad. Of course it was. It's way over this the three ounces. This is Okay. Ugh, ugh. Now, Silly lad. this one is a flogger. A what? Right? It's a now, what? It's got five blades, and it's a, sort of in a whip. It's a flogger. You can't bring your five-bladed flogger onto the airplane. Okay? Drew, Drew, I've heard you call, been called the old flogger. <laughs> flogger. Yeah, I heard it one time. Hey, Drew, you old flogger. That How are you George, doing this? That was at George Bush oh. in Texas, okay? Oh, hi. Now, number two. All right, this is a bullet-adorned gas mask. <laughs> Somebody was going to use it for a prop, but you can't bring something with bullets on it on a plane. Okay? So, uh, this, see, advice. See, this is where you learn a lot about what you can and can't do in the world. How many security stupid minute. people now, are in the world? Okay, number wait, one. The number, okay, number one. This movie prop, all right, corpse, came through TSA. <laughs> okay, this is a replica. It looks like a dead person, but yeah. it's actually a movie, a movie replica. And this was allowed to go, but it got everybody excited. It took hours. It, it was allowed to go it, out of Jackson. Did he have to pay for a seat? <laughs> no, he was in. He was in the. He was pulled out of luggage. Oh, he's out of luggage. Yeah. Oh, I thought he had to extra seat. Yeah, he you just want to roll him through the. He went the, first roll class. through the scanner. He want to go first <laughs> class there. Man. So, just, just Angus. You don't fly with this kind of stuff, do you? Uh, you know, I, I mean, had, what? what uh, you, I, had, you, I, had, I had a few things in my guilt, but you, I kind of get all those things up there. You have a lot of interesting gadgets, though. I do. And so, and you travel with them, but, you know, you never do something I, like I, that. I, I can guarantee I never took any of my gadgets on the plane. All right. Guarantee. Well, tell me what you got this week. So, okay, we're talking about the 2016, That's right. right? What's been the best of? So, we'll talk about my, my love life first, because you know how bad it was, you know. You know, the first... Well, we met a couple of your little honeycombs well, well, you they, remember, they were on the show. Yeah, we, yeah, well, that's true. That's true. But remember my um, uh, Facebook dates? Yeah. You know, uh, Mesh.com. Yeah. The, th the one I thought I was really going to meet. I think I have a wee picture of her. She's got, you know, the, the wee lassie in her little pink outfit. Or is it coming up? It might be. I don't... I didn't can. Well, there's me being sad after I had my drinks. <laughs> That was, that was, oh, the, yeah, you know, that's she, the other one. This is what she sent me on Match.com. Yeah. It was, then, it, it was awesome. Yeah. And then we went and had coffee. Yeah. And guess what? This is who showed up to have coffee. She oh. doesn't, didn't even look like what I was thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looked like Ginsburg. Well, we talked about how you can't, you know, always believe like social media. We sort of talked about that this year. A lot of people get scammed and there's a lot of scams going on around the holidays. Too. Yeah, but I sent her real, real live pictures of me. Yeah, it yeah. worked. Yeah, like just like Burt Reynolds. Yeah, it yeah, worked. It didn't work either. <laughs> anyway, so I got messed up on that. But anyway, we're going to do that. The thing we're going to do is like my three gadgets of the year. Okay. okay. All right. So let's, do, let's go with, try with number one. Okay. Like number one gadget. So let's take this. Well, that was, that was not my one. Oh, no, it was my number one gadget. The hoverboard. I tried to date her, too, but it never worked. But see the hoverboard. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. And they're out and about. They, there's a little bit of travel restrictions, I think. But, uh, TSA uh, will not let you take them on the airplane. Okay. But I see people on them, like on the sidewalks yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was, so that, they, that was they, one of my favorite gadgets. On. I didn't even thought that was cool. Then my other one of my favorite was this one. And these are recyclable. 
Oh, yeah, the cooler the barbecue, is the cooler barbecue. barbecue. And that's a very, you know, uh, uh, one of those um, re repurposing, you know, type of, of efforts there. So, uh, you know, that, I got no problem. Yeah, if you think green, lad, this I is like it. That one. This is it. I like this, that oh, yeah, one. This is perfect. This is really good. The burger tasted kind of chalky, oh, but that's okay. The eye toilet. The eye toilet. This was a true repurposing effort yeah, here. I mean, yeah. somebody... I'm not sure if they wanted it in the toilet or just what the what the, there's a little bit of symbolism there. I'm not sure about. It was pretty good, so I thought that was that was a really great one. What do you, who's the winner? You're gonna so, give us a winner. What do you think, Lad? Which one you want? Uh, I think I gotta go with the hoverboard. I do too. Cause it it you know the other two are I like the repurposing efforts, but you know I like I like the hoverboard. That was kind hoverboard. of an interesting. And she's got a wee kilt, which makes it help a little bit. Oh, that's right. She matches your. That's how I didn't she think matches of it. No wonder that's your vote. Ah, hi, lad. You got it. Right anyway, on. so we're going to be celebrating uh, New Year's. You know what we call it in Scotland? What? Hogmanay. Why? That's what it's called in Scotland, <laughs> Hogmanay. <laughs> you daft lad. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to be celebrating Hogmanay. Uh, you know, tomorrow. It's, it's, or tomorrow. is it tonight? Tomorrow, it, no, tomorrow. How far ahead are tomorrow. you? Whatever, tomorrow. Okay. Anyway, so, it's, you know, so happy New Year to everybody. Have a great Hogmanay. And as I say all the time, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Hello. Ha. Nice. Aloha, my name is John Waihe, and I used to be a part of all the things that you might be angry at. I served in government here and may have made decisions that affects you. So I want to invite you in. I want to invite you in to talk story with me and some very special guests every other Monday here at Talk Story with John Wahee. Come on in, join us, express your opinion, learn more about your state, and then do something about it. Aloha. So there was just a, a, a minor little, you know, technical uh, faux pas there, because Angus was supposed to take us out of the shot, but he didn't, so he just collapsed. I don't know. He, he'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, that was interesting. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad he chose a winner. I had to agree. What, what, what about you? What was your vote? I was there all the way. Okay, yeah, the I, hoverboard. I, 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 Have you seen people around town on it? It's pretty cool. I see, I see him. Pretty I, good. Have you seen the guy? There's one guy who goes around town. He's on the unicycle one. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's a, it's a unicycle one. There's just one wheel. In Is the it middle. powered? Powered. Oh, it's like Segway balanced? Yeah, yeah it's pretty I cool. I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's right on. All right. Alrighty, so then... Um, one of our other segments that we enjoy during the course of the year is, you know, got one tech. Oh up. my gosh! And we do, we do. And we're going to vote for the worst or the yeah. best. How? What's the voting? Like, how the I, dumbest? Or I, tell me this. I have no tell idea. Tell me the criteria. I, well, and we, we also have, you know, these are the our spokespersons for, you know, got one tech job. We have this picture of these uh, these other two babooses that okay. uh, that represent, you know, got one tech job because they're both retired. Oh, okay, Remember okay, them? okay, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh oh no wait wait, wait that's some well that's something different too. Remember Angus announced this. Oh, there they are. Nice. There they are. We know that uh, those guys are from the north of the border. That's Hamish McDonald. It says you cow got one tech job. <laughs> <laughs> like I said. Are they watching? Uh, yeah, We're going to get a call now. Always. You cow got one tech job, so that's how they would spell it in Canada. Look at this guy. There, was, there you go. How's that? But those, those two guys, was um, that was Hamish McGullivan. Yeah, I know. Big forklift. I know. So, those guys are yeah, awesome. That, that's those two guys right there. They're two both, retirees. That's two retirees. of our favorite Canadian yeah. fans. You co a cow got one tech job. I love that. Just keep that sign. So, who did these signs? Me. <laughs> <laughs> how about this one? All right. You know got one tech job. How would you like to apply for that one? It's tough, man. I mean, I've seen a few of these. It's a tough way to make a living. Here's my comment. That's utterly disgusting. Oh, okay. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And uh, how about these guys? Yeah. Now, that ain't McGullible and McForklift because they ain't that stupid. That is... Uh, but look, they're standing on a steel ladder. Yeah. There's no OSHA in that country. And they're <laughs> hanging up the air conditioning. Now, oh, this look guy, at this, this guy. This guy got one tech job. Mm. You know what? Yeah, he's got... <laughs> go troubleshoot the connection. Yeah. What? <laughs> I called and said I was having a little problem with my cable. Yeah, you got that's the guy. <laughs> he said, I think I found it. It's a bird nest. Man, what that, a mess. What a mess that one is. But um, actually, that's um, not exactly that one, but very similar up on uh, Paoa Street. Mm. Right on the corner there. It's I huge. don't like to hear about that stuff. It's, it's unbelievable. <sighs> so you got, your, you got your choices there, dude. 
Which one? Am I there? voting? Uh, well, I'll, I'll I'll vote with you. I you got you got the the, the morons that were doing the that's ladder. the that's the craziest they, thing. I like the cow though. That one. Yeah. The coo, utterly. The coup. The utterly crazy. The utterly crazy. Crazy job. Yeah. So. Or no, you gonna got one take job. Go Fair job. enough. Fair enough. We'll, we'll award it to that because we don't know who it is. So we don't have to buy him a beverage. University of Hawaii's football team is looking for a mascot. I wouldn't advise that one. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No. <laughs> Pray tell them what I mean. I just, uh, it's, it might have won our show here, but it might not really be good on the field. On, on the field. You oh, know. that's too bad. That's too bad. Anyway. Because it would be did. utterly ridiculous. But speaking of University of Hawaii, we didn't mention them, and we should mention them. Killed it. They killed it. They did a had a 500 season. Amazing. 2006 was the last time Congratulations they won a bowl game. to the team, to the coach, yeah. to all the supporters who went out. Gordo went to every game this year. Good yeah. job, brother. So, but it was, Corey, good job. Yeah, it was fun. It was, you know, they, they, you know, to have a 500 season after the previous four years. Yeah. It, Is Corey going to come on and talk about it? Yeah, we're going to get him on. Oh, actually, you know what? That's that's good. Let's have him next week. Yeah, let's try to get him for next Friday. Our first show of the year because he can reflect. Yeah, he can reflect. We'll leave it, you know, so we're reflective yeah, uh, theme. Yeah. We can genuflect. And you, know we how can we, you know how we do themes. We can do this themes. So, and then um, we had um, one other, sh we, we kept doing these themes like no one, you know, got one mm -hmm. tech job, all this kind of stuff and so on. Um, but every once in a while, we would insert this thing called the, um, um, I would call it the parent of the month. Okay. Yeah, and, and so on. But, but I only had, I, I had two, but I didn't want to use one because it was I, for a number of reasons. But so I picked the winner of this one. But this okay. Was, this is what I consider the parent of the year award goes out to this guy. Oh. Um, and his significant other who's hanging their child into a raccoon pit. A raccoon pit. And raccoons are not known to be the most friendly animals in uh, the world. Tear your face off. They'll tear your face off. Now, this guy is an absolute idiot. But anyway, um, uh, for you, sir, in 2016. You get the Hibachi Talk Parent of the Year Award. <laughs> Parent of the Year Award, yeah. We'll send you a face mask. <laughs> <laughs> for your kid. For your kid. I mean, talk about. Crazy. I just don't know. I wonder if he's a millennial. Anyway, so that. <laughs> And having to deal with that mm. too. Anyway, so that that kind of uh, summed it up. But I also, you know, so we're coming up on. You got a couple minutes left. I know. About two. I, two. But I want to talk about um, the you know the fact that we were the beginnings of this solo cup um, uh, prop. Yeah, we brought. I think we we brought them on. We definitely pumped it up. I'm and, and I'm, I'm sad to see Robert go. Sad but. to see Robert go. And 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 you know there was more than just this. And so I want to. We'll just show. We all of our guests get an autographed solo cup. Yeah. We've made sure we've given out over 96 of them, I believe. No guest goes unrewarded. No guest unrewarded. But I want to show some of the new solo cups that have evolved. As oh, that's right. Cups. That's right. We talked about these yeah, this year. These are some of the new ones that are coming out there. You've got the beer mug solo cup. Yeah. Rather nice. I think that it's... I, 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 easier to hold, maybe? Easier to hold. It looks quite nice. How about the solo the cup? Solo koozie. That's right. For so when you, you just, just put it in the can in there and it's just keep your Coca-Cola refrigerated. Cold. How's that? Nice. That's a nice one. I thought it was it. How about the battery operated um, solo cup solo lights? Cup. Christmas tree. Next year, I'm going to put those on my Christmas tree. You think they're full size? No, they're small. They'll they're be the, big. The mini ones. Okay. They're the mini ones. The there's the ones. wine glass. And then there's the solo cup wine glass. Yeah, that's, that's Kentucky, man. <laughs> Or bourbon. Well, but I mean, if you had to have wine. I like the Solo Cup uh, uh, bottle cap opener. Pretty and cool. cup. And Very cup. nice. And cup. Nice kit. Nice, a nice kit. You only get half a glass, though. <laughs> <laughs> but so, but so there, is, there has been a lot of, uh, of cool things that have uh, 2016. happened. 2016. It was a lot of fun. So we have 2017 coming up next year. We've got a bunch of exciting new guests coming yes. on. Yes, join us. D join us, you know, because we're here every... Friday, Friday, from in theory. 1 till 1.30, in theory. give or take five minutes, <laughs> you know, depending on whether or not we have technical difficulties. So, you know, we really would like you guys to come and, and join, in, uh, join us. Uh, we'd also like you to, you know, donate um, to uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Yes, please help, help, help Jay help fund Jay. the studio. We no, have a great we, studio uh, here. Uh, we, we do not, um, our guests are all volunteers. We volunteer our time. Um, all the studio um, staff, the studio volunteers staff, their time. Yeah, they do a gr great job putting this together. So we need to really make sure that we keep this thing going. And also, give us input. We've got, uh, you know, this idea for the year in return actually came from a couple of people who saw me on the street and said, why don't you recap the year? And I yeah. thought, that's kind of a neat idea. Yeah, and, so, and, and also, if you got if you got something to talk about, something unique that's going on, let us know. Yeah, We're remember, happy to have, have you on. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we promote the local businesses, and we promote you big time. Yep. So and that's, that's our whole plan. 
Anyway, as we wind down, we would like to thank, um, oh, God, there's so many. There's Jay. Robert and Robert, Ian and Jay and, and, and Nick and Zuri and, 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 and just Carol, like, and it goes on and on, on and on. And Jay. Did we say Jay? We said Jay. It is Jay's studio. It is just Jay's Thanks, studio. Thanks, Jay. And his dime. Happy New Year, buddy. Happy New Year, man. And so as we say at the end of every show, do you remember now? Three, two. Three, two, one. How you, How you doing? doing?